Amen. Uh, good evening, everybody. We are very fired up to be here tonight. And uh, my name is Victor Gonzalez, my beautiful wife. And uh, <clears throat> we came from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Every day in the temple courts, daily Bible studies. We're going to go to Acts chapter 5. Because we say and we preach that we are the church that God built. And so we have to go and see the church in the first century. The church in the Bible. And imitate it. The Bible says, Acts 5, 41. The apostles left the Senate rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name. Day after day, in the temple courts and from house to house, they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. You know, the Bible says every day they didn't have a phone they didn't have text, messenger. They didn't have email. They didn't have cars. But they got together, and they went house to house, and they teach about Jesus Christ. Now, what will you do if you don't have a phone? If you don't have a car? You don't have email. You don't have nothing. Will you really went? and evangelize every day. You know, I know we have a problem. The problem is that you have Netflix. You have YouTube. You have TV. You have the gym. Because I don't know why. I, I don't know why. But many, many, many of the young guys they want to look like me when they're my age. So they are just obsessed with the gym. And, uh, but all these guys, it's just entertainment. I'm going to let my wife to share a little bit with you guys. Hi, my beautiful sisters. We see here there's no excuse. No excuse to have daily studies. You know, I want to encourage you guys because when I got baptized, I had nine kids. And then I had ten kids. And I was taking five to school and come back with my five kids. And, you know, uh, my neighbors came out and asked me, hey, did you, how much you charge for babysitting? And I said, oh, no, no, they're all my kids. So they said, because I see that you take very good care of them. And uh, they follow to my, they follow me. He says, "Can I go to? Can I follow you to talk to you? How you do it?" So he said, "Yeah, come, come to my house." And I invite them breakfast or lunch, uh, and uh, I start sharing my faith, study the Bible, and uh, that's how I start baptizing. And then my husband start helping the husbands. They like, you know, uh, they come to Bible talk, good food, clean house. You know, I see. I see so many sisters with two or three kids and they, or one baby, they don't know what to do. You gotta use those beautiful babies to evangelize, to have daily studies. That's what you guys need to do. Now we see here in the Bible, guys, these guys, they are being just persecuted. Sometimes we have very little difficulties here and there, and we just chicken out like, oh, you know. and uh, I think we need to have daily Bible studies. And I know what are you thinking? You say like, yeah, that sounds good, but uh, you don't understand, bro. I, I, I don't have time. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Let me help you out. You have exactly the same time that these brothers and sisters in the Bible. 
You have exactly the same time that everybody here. That's right. 24 hours every single day. And if you don't do it, the problem is, number one, you're hurt because you don't want to do it. You are more important for you than the one you say, Jesus is my Lord. I want to challenge you to do God's will, not your will. God wants everybody to be safe and get to know the truth. But you know what? I'm going to give you a practical. Set up a Bible study every day. And do it. And after that, do whatever you want with your time. You can go to the gym. You can sleep. You can watch a movie. You can eat whatever you want. But first of all, you do God's will. Thank you.